Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. A lot of users have this question of how to backup and restore OnePlus phones, including photos and videos. So in this video, we'll talk about three simple methods and the last one will be very beneficial because you'll also get unlimited cloud storage. So without wasting any more time, let's start with the process. So here I have two phones towards the left hand side. This is my OnePlus Open and towards the right hand side, this is my OnePlus 11, which I recently factory reset. So if I show you the photos also, I mean to say the gallery app, there are no photos, no applications installed, nothing available on this device. But this is my primary phone, which I'm using. Now what I'll do is I'll transfer the data from this device to this device. So one thing guys, you need to remember that OnePlus officially doesn't allow you to take backup of your photos and videos. Other than that, you can create a zip file for other data. So let me show you the first process and which is officially by OnePlus itself. If you go to additional settings on both these phones, let's go to additional settings scroll down and towards the bottom side we have an option called backup and migrate so these are the two options which you guys will find it on your devices under backup and migration there's an option called clone phone so this lets you migrate data from this device to this device but that includes your photos and videos i'll show you this process also followed by other two processes so as said this is the first process in which you just have to tap on clone phone there are two options beneath which says this is the old phone and this is the new phone depending on the condition like for example example this is the new phone select the option this is new device you can select oppo realme or oneplus we have single category for other android devices you have different and for iphone also we have a different category as i'm transferring the data from oneplus smartphone itself so i'll select the first option and then on this device i'll select this is the old phone so here what I have to do is I just have to scan the QR code and I'm good to go. If you want to connect it manually, you just need to have the application called clone phone. And on this device also you can tap manually connect and here you'll get the Wi-Fi ID and password. So here this is the Wi-Fi password I'll connect. I'll use the same password, tap on save and I'm good to go. Now I can select everything from here like pictures, apps, app data. For most of the applications, you won't be able to transfer the app data. You can just migrate the applications. So what I'll do is I'll just select few applications to show you guys the basic ones and tap on OK. So now if I tap on next and now you can see the migration has started. We'll wait for the migration to complete and later we'll show you guys how much data we received on the device. And if you see here, the transfer speed is also too good which is approximate 102 MB per second. So now you can see transfer have been completed. It will take another two, three minutes to restore the data too. Meanwhile, I'll show you the pictures and the videos which are present on my OnePlus Open. And now they are on my OnePlus 11. So if you go to Photos app, here you can see all the photos are present and let me open the gallery application on this device too. So here also under camera you can see we have almost every image present which is available on my OnePlus Open. So this is one way to migrate the data from one device to another device where you can also migrate the photos and videos. So now what I'll do is I'll just stop this migration process and we'll move to the second one. And now talking about the next method which is local backup. So here the device will create a zip file though it doesn't include any photos or video I think OnePlus should add the option to include photos and videos too because we are creating a backup locally and we can save that file on our PC also for later use or for safety purpose. So here what you have to do is select local backup, tap on new backup and here there is no option of photos and videos though we do have option to take a backup of applications, contacts, messages, call logs and preference settings. Once you start the backup the backup will hardly take few seconds or few minutes depending on the data available on your device. Once the backup is created, you have to go to file manager, storage, Android, data and here you'll see this message saying access denied. Tap on view, you'll see this page, tap on Android, data, I'll change the view, I'll scroll down and this is the folder which we need to copy. So you can copy this folder and paste it on your PC. Because you can't share this folder, none of the folders are being shared if they have more than 99 files. You have only option to copy this backup folder to your PC and then copy back to your new device. So I'll just transfer this folder to this device and get back to you guys. So now I have successfully copied that file to this device which is my new device. And if I go to settings now, additional settings, backup and reset. And if I select local backup, here you'll see a file present on my device. I just have to tap on this 
and I can select the data. You can see here, we don't get the option to restore photos and videos. So this is a method for applications and you know, preferred settings, call logs, messages and etc. But now let me talk about the cloud storage and that includes the backup of almost everything like photos, videos, messages, etc. So what you have to do is in that case, you need to download an application called GeoCloud. So this initially gives you 2 GB of data, but you can use my referral code and you'll get 7 GB of data. So here is my account. Let me show you the backup settings. I'll also tell you guys how it works and how you can create the backup. So soon you install the application, you'll get these options like keep your content safe where you can select photos for the backup in which you can select the high quality, original quality. You have the option of videos, audios, document contacts, messages. And once you select everything, you can just tap on continue and you can use the option whether you want to backup using Wi-Fi plus cellular or only Wi-Fi. I'll go with Wi-Fi plus cellular. I'll allow all the necessary permissions and I'm good to go. You can see it says your files are backed up. So now I'll have all the files. I mean to say photos, videos, whatever I selected will be available in this cloud storage. Now talking about the storage options here. So initially, once you install this application, you'll get only 2 GB of storage, which is a free storage. But if you want more storage, here you can see there's an option called promotional storage, which is limited for almost two years. So two years are, I think, enough. And like whenever you refer to anyone, you'll get another 5 GB of data or the cloud storage. So what you can do is if you have only 2 GB of storage, here I'll give you a referral code. Using this code, you can get 5 GB additional. I'll provide this referral code in the description below. And let me show you how can you use this referral code. So here I have my OnePlus 10 Pro. I'll show you in live example here. So I've already installed this application here and let me show you the storage what I have. You can see I have only 2 GB present on this device. So here I have a different device with my brother's account. So here you can see I have only 2 GB of storage available. So what I'll do is on the main home page itself, I'll tap on this option, invite friends and earn up to 15 GB of storage. So this is a different code which you don't have to use. You can use this code present here, copy this code and paste it here which says invited by friend. I'll use this code which is numerical 1, C, L, J, H and 6. Now once I tap on apply, there we go. It says congratulations, tapping on continue. If I go to settings, storage, here you can see now I have total 7 GB of storage which includes 5 GB of promotional storage. So this is the easiest way and for sure you'll have at least 5 GB permanently and you can also refer your friends by which you can increase the storage because Google only gives storage up to I think 15 GB, not more than that, but you'll get more storage on this. My friend already has 50 GB of storage available with him. And if you don't want to use the cloud storage of Geo, you can anytime use Google cloud storage, which gives you a storage of 15 GB. So guys, these are the three methods and do not forget to use the code which is given in the description below to avail 5 GB extra cloud storage. If you guys have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.